Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Coronavirus. Did you guys hear the news? Trump got the coronavirus. <laughs> I thought he was gonna inject himself with some Clorox. What happened? You never know. You never know. Hey, Nikki, what's up? You never know. What what's happened? Gonna ha what's gonna happen is this. He's gonna go into hiding in his bunker. Thank you. He's gonna go into hiding in his bunker. But being that, you know, he's the, the chief or whatever, he's gonna get the best. Chief of who? My president you know for I mean? Obama. <laughs> well, so is mine, but he's gonna go, obviously, he's, nice he's gonna get the best, uh, he's gonna mm -hmm. get the best care because obviously he's, you know, the, the top dude or whatever. But what I think is gonna be funny is I think now, because since he's sick, with the remaining, um, with the remaining debates, they're thinking about probably subbing Penton to go uh, debate against. Which we don't know if that may be unnecessarily a good thing because Pence is kind of smarter than Trump, which makes him much more dangerous. No, but I think if that's the case, I think uh, Pence and Biden going at it would actually be a good debate. Well, a civilized conversation. There you go. Definitely. There you go. Yeah. It'll give him a breather. Excuse so the bare face. It'll, it'll give him a breather before he has to face Kamala. <laughs> I, didn't, be I, didn't, I didn't mean to turn this into a political thing yeah. because of everybody has different stands. So, like, we'll be back. And we're back. <laughs> so, currently, forget about Trump and his coronavirus ass. I am so sorry. I just had my hand all over the camera. We are... La Isla. A taste La of Isla. Cuba. If you are from Jersey City, the Vulcan area, this is a bomb Cuban place. She put me on. But she only brought me here once. I brought her over here so she could try the, the Ropa Vieja, which is awesome. She brought me here once. It's like giving a kid a taste of bacon for the first time. Have you seen that video? Insert now. Bye. <laughs> Bada! Over here! Bada! Bacon! Bada! <laughs> okay. It's <Bring> like. On. <laughs> it's like giving a child a piece of bacon, having that reaction, and never bringing them back again. It's like. Whoa! Okay, so now we made our return. A year later. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. Aquí estamos con nuestros mini cubanitos. Take 10. Because in real life, Cuban, they're like Billy. You know? But we got. But we can't. Wait, but is it. What? We don't complain what we got, alright? There's a saying. I don't know how the saying goes. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I ain't gonna show you because I got the same shit. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Why are you opening it? Que yo le pongo el hot sauce adentro con con un poquito. Yo pongo el hot sauce encima, como así. Yo le hago los dos. Wow. Y le pongo un chin de cachorro. Don't judge me. I'm Dominican too. She killed the whole sandwich. Oh, shut up. Mm. Mm. You want to know what's funny? Mm. I have mm. a weird ass food combination, mm. right? And she'll say some dumb shit like, girl, what is that? And then she'll taste it. She'll be like, all right, all right, it's not so bad. So I don't know if you guys remember our um, COVID anniversary. <laughs> and um, I was like, oh, like, we love pasos, I love pasos. <laughs> For this. For today's meal, this hot sauce is not gonna leave my hand. We got two hot sauces. We got the OG and the good one. I think today this is the OG. Oh, oh good. Oh, good. But take a bite. No me controle la boca. Take a bite. I just want you to see. No me controle. Delicioso. <laughs> oh, oh my God. 
Shalom. 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 I love you too, baby. And once you got the house, I had a, a little bit of an emotional dream last night. Los ancestors estaban hablando. Yeah. If you know, you know. For those that say that those who have loved us and that have left this lifetime don't visit us, it's a lie. They do. And if they don't, you probably aren't their favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had a um, I had a dream last night with my grandfather and like any Hispanic household, you know, when it comes to your grandparents, they really are the, the foundation of any and every family. Um, my grandfather's been gone for some time, I guess. He passed away in uh, 2014. So here we are, six years later. It's crazy. And that was like that was my guy. That was my man. You know, and um, I miss him every day. You know. So last night I had a dream. He came to me in a dream last night. He didn't say anything. He just stood there and smiled. He was in a guava, huh? With blue wire, but I'm just there smiling at me. Oh, don't you think if you guys are from the islands? Because I feel like in DRP or Cuba, um, Central America, don't you think that the older generation or the mature generation, excuse me, I said, excuse me, look so handsome in guayaberas? Yeah, like my mom has her grandfather's old guayabera. She'd be looking like Pablo Esco, the female version. <laughs> but it's not the story. Wait, let me stop. Yeah. <laughs> gotta watch the trucks passing. Hold on. <laughs> so, um, I've done. That was right in your view. <laughs> rudeness. My bad. So, we're traveling from the Dominican Republic back to New York. Um, I'm going to put my sandwich down. So, my mom is one of these people, I don't know who told Hispanics that they have to go dressed up to go to the airport. You know, <laughs> your mom. Oh, he got a ticket. He don't even know all his dad bought. Oh, I yeah. just saw it. So I'm looking at him, so he's looking at me, he's like, shit, I got something white in the corner of my dad. <laughs> so, so my mom likes to look good in the airport, like if she's going to find the love of her life in the airport. You never know. And mind you, like, you see how people be like, okay, I'm going to put my jewelry here. No, she will wear her jewelry because she has this thing with people stealing her shit. It's so she's, so she's going to wear her most valuable thing, especially going to the Dominican Republic. I would Beautiful too. island. But but I wouldn't go with like my gold shit. You know what I mean? Like well, you leave it home? I would leave it, yeah. Yeah, is it true that if you go to like DR or a country where uh people value things like sneakers, like you know You get stolen. Yeah, so is it true because I heard a piece of advice once that and somebody said it laughingly that oh okay, like if you go to DR or like something like you know that you have to, if you take me multiple maletas you should put one shoe on one maleta and then the other to match your shoe with another that. maleta <laughs> i'm done now so i want to are you going to dr mexico or <clears throat> what i've also done when my, my mom likes to do too is like um she'll send a caja to dr like let's say she's planning to travel okay let's say she's planning to travel in, in december for christmas she'll start making the cajas now with everything that she would need, her clothes and everything, go with um, the the bowling maleta that you can take on board, mm -hmm. and then the one that you throw in the thing. Yeah. So the one that you throw on the convertible or whatever, that one will have like things that she's gonna take to my grandma, and then whatever, like you'll have like for example, like if my grandmother needs toothpaste or this, because remember things in DR that are what we consider a little bit on the cheaper side here mm -hmm. like hy hygiene thing yeah. over there is very expensive so she'll take the necessities the female necessities little clothing and stuff like that to our family 
and then when she comes back, whatever she doesn't leave over there, excuse me, she will take it, she will bring it back in her maleta. But all her shit is already put in the closet because you know, mama's girl will always be mama's girl. <laughs> My grandmother will have her all set up already. Because she already found her. I love your grandmother, she's so cute. I love her too. Bad. So how she feels about her grandfather is how I feel about my grandmother. That's my woman. So yeah, back to the Guayabera story. Yeah. Before you really interrupt them. So, my bad. <laughs> so again, she likes to go dressed up to the airport. Mm -hmm. We were coming back from DR. So he, and my mom is this lady. She has the brightest yellow greenish eyes. Blonde, long blonde hair. So she had a little fedora hat, her white guayabera, um, you know like the guayabera type pants that hug you in the right places. The cotton pants. <laughs> um, looking very whatever. So you know how they do the, the random like, oh you think. Yeah, it's random exactly. the selection. Ran the random selection at the airport. So. <laughs> I go through the thing, my sister goes, mind you, me and my sister, well, I like to go comfortable. I'm gonna wear my sneakers, I'm gonna put a hoodie on, because I don't care where you're going, the airplanes are cold. Yeah. Airports are freezing cold. My mother's being the diva that she is, and she had let go of her doobie. So her hair was out, fabulosa como ella sola. Viene el hombre, ay, you've been randomly selected, come. They put her in a room. Better why? And my mom. Does he look like Pablo Escobar's daughter? No. <laughs> my mom. My, and I'm laughing because my mother is very dramatic. So they take her into this room. And they use like this blue light that is kind of like an expert to see if you have drugs in your body. She goes, Nen mi vida. He cogido yo droga. Nada más ibuprofen. Hold on. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, good. <laughs> but you know Hispanics, ibuprofen. Again, I am not being overly dramatic of how my mother is. This one thought that I was when we first started talking, and she met her, she was like, oh my yeah, God. Then I met her mom, and I was like, oh shit. So, this is like caso cerrado every day. <laughs> dramatica, como ella sola. But she's, she means well, so whatever. She passes the test, and then I go, que pasó, mami? Y yo, e, e, mami, tú te ves como Pablo Escobar. And she goes, que después me paran de nuevo yo no tengo nada ni en el culito ni en ningún lado and then oh, the guy right. comes out and he says yes es por eso es porque te parece que puede ser Pablo Escobar <laughs> de Santo Domingo <laughs> and that's the guayabera story just because she had a guayabera on and then she had imagine you have a thin guayabera on very nice flowy with your flowy pants your nice little sandals yep, yep. your little hat and then your gold out like like blinging and, and like her rings and her earrings you can't tell her nothing yep. no you can't tell your mom you can't tell her nothing <clears throat> when they meet so yeah so that's our i guess family story yeah. one for of today many. for the one of many one of many because we can go on and on and on yeah but you two right now want to let us to go past a certain time limit <laughs> yeah because we, we don't get beautiful <laughs> So, as always, people like, comment, share, subscribe. We're gonna finish up eating because I'm done. done with I'm she got another half of her sandwich. So, mm. this is good. I'm trying to savor each bite. Till next time. Bye, guys. Happy fall. Oh, yeah. Happy fall. <laughs>